So we are getting some new witchers in season two of Netflix's The Witcher. And I guess new for the show, not obviously new for the books and, and video games. I hope that that was clear. So in season two of Netflix is The Witcher, we are going to see Siri and Geralt head to the School of the Wolf, his old witcher training school, Car Morhen, and there we are going to meet some other witchers, including Lambert, Eskil, Cohen, and Vesemir. This video, I want to talk about Cohen. And warning, spoilers for his character in the books. I don't know if they're going to follow exactly how he was in the books in the show, but I'll warn you when I get to the part where I talk about his character's fate, just in case. So let's talk about Cohen. Cohen is a human male from Povis who trained at the School of the Griffin. So not actually at the School of the Wolf, like Geralt, Lambert, Eskil, and Vesemir did. We meet Cohen in the books when he is spending his first winter at Carmorhen, arriving months after Ciri and Geralt arrived at the school. Now, in the show, they may have him already there. I, I guess we'll see. I think it would make more sense to just show him already there when they arrive, but, you know, Lauren Hisrick kind of shakes things up. What's interesting is that Cohen has a short black beard, which does little to hide his severe disfigurement. Smallpox has left scars on his face. Which is rare to see as witchers are generally immune to infectious diseases. So this means either he got smallpox when he was a very little boy, or maybe he came to be trained at the school of the Griffin later in life than when a witcher generally is. And in general, it appears that Cohen had a difficult time with the mutations required to become a witcher. His eyes are unusually pale yellow-green, and the whites of his eyes are full of red threads. Though it's much better to have a difficult time with the mutations and trials with becoming a witcher than the alternative, which is... dead. Three out of ten boys survived the trial. Tell me. At least you didn't know this before you left me on his doorstep. Now let's talk about his personality in the books, and I'm hoping they keep his personality in the books in the show. So Cohen is shown to be good at controlling his expressions and acting almost unnaturally natural. Unless you're talking about politics, then he may stare at the ceiling and yawn openly to let you know how he feels on that topic. Something I agree with him on. Though he doesn't care for them, as we know witchers in general are taught to stay out of politics, and living such a long lifespan, he's heard similar words to, the world is in ruins, and the world kept on turning without him becoming involved. He is also practiced and highly educated in his craft, knowing the areas post-war will cause deserted locations with only women and children, which attract and become easy prey for monsters. He's also quick to recognize when he's messed up and fess up to it. He's also known to burst out laughing quite easily, which is something rare with witchers, which again shows that maybe he came to become a witcher later in life, or maybe the mutations and training weren't as effective on him as it is on other witchers. Now, what can you expect to see him do in the show? Well, if we're going by the books, besides cleaning the stables, grooming the horses, and repairing a harness, he is going to be one of the witchers that train Ciri in sword combat, something I am really looking forward to, especially since in the books he's very encouraging of Ciri and compliments her a lot more than some of the other more harsher witchers. And he teaches Siri some really valuable lessons in the books, such as there's no such thing as a fair fight. That you have to use every advantage and opportunity you get. There will be people faster and stronger than her, and she needs to learn what her opponent is going to do. Also giving her the great advice, which I really hope he does so in the show, that he knows where the best fencers are. They're in cemeteries. Another thing I really hope they keep with Cohen from the books and they show in season two is the fact that he teaches her to master her fear, master her pain. That if she doesn't get up and try again when she fails at something or gets hurt, that she might catch the fear and it will be harder for her to come back to it if she waits. Such as, let's say she falls down off of one part of the training course and then decides, okay, I'm gonna quit for the rest of the day she's gonna have all that build up to the next time she has to do it, and he doesn't want that to happen. 
So just like in the books, I hope in the show, he rubs her bruises when she falls down and goes, hey, get back up. Don't catch the fear. Now besides training Siri, I really hope we see the softer side of Cohen in the show. So in the books, he would play with Siri, he'd give her piggyback rides to bed, and he would also play a game of hand slapping, which, you know, is where you put your hands out here and you try to slap someone's hand and they have to pull their hands away as fast as they can. And because Cohen was such a softie, he would sometimes let Siri win. And I hope we see that too in the show. Finally, Cohen's fate in the books. Uh, this is a huge spoiler for him, so if you do not want to know his fate in the books, which might happen in the show, probably, don't watch from here on out. Thanks for joining me. I hope you're super excited to see what they do with Cohen in the show, especially compared to what you now know about him in the books. So when Sarah goes into a trance while she is at Car Morhen, she tells Cohen and also Geralt how they will die. She tells Cohen, you're going to die from two teeth. And she turns out to be right, unfortunately. So Cohen, we don't know exactly why, he decides to join in fighting the second Nilfgaard war. He decides he can't be neutral anymore. Why he was swayed to it, I guess you could make an argument that because he was more emotional as a witcher, maybe the mutations didn't take full effect, maybe he came later in life, that he was more easily swayed to help. Anyways, he joined as a volunteer in the second Nilfgaard war and his comrades knew he was a witcher, obviously kind of hard to miss, and they considered him a really good friend, so apparently he wasn't just super grumpy and quiet like other witchers we know. Whatever the reason for him joining, during a battle he was stabbed with twin scythes. So, two teeth, though the medic says pitchfork, and one of the teeth pierced his heart, breaching the cardiac chamber and almost separating the aorta. He lived long enough to be brought to the medic, only to bleed out and die. It's assumed the medic at a later point ended up doing an autopsy on Cohen because the medic mentioned wanting to do it so they could study his organs and write a dissertation. Finally, in case you're interested who is actually playing Cohen in the Netflix series, I just want to talk about that very briefly. So we know Yasin Atur is playing Cohen in season two of Netflix's The Witcher and they describe him as a warrior type, deadly with a sword, charged with training a young apprentice easygoing and fun. Kinda wonder if they're gonna scar him up because the actor seems a little too pretty to play Cohen, but I am very excited to see his interactions with Siri, how he trains her, him playing with her, and just having a, a softer side, especially for a witcher. I would imagine his death would be sometime far in the future in the show, so if you're sad about him dying after getting to know him, you got a while. It's all right. That is Cohen from the books. Hopefully they are going to match a lot of his personality and description in the show. We'll just have to see what the showrunner decides to do. So what do you think about Cohen? Do you like him by this description? Do you hope they keep him the same in the show? Do you hope they change him around a bit? And what about him do you hope they change? 